In this video, you will learn how to simulate a single stage multi body metal forming process using the isothermal analysis module of Avdex 3D, the intelligent metal forming simulator. Let's get started with the process type first. Since the geometries of the workpiece and the dies are symmetric, we will carry out a 3D simulation of a 30 degree sector of the components. The temperature change is neglected in the simulation. The information about the material is given on the left side. We will use constitutive equations for defining the material behavior in this example. The details of the constitutive equations will be discussed later during the material definition process. The three work pieces will be positioned as shown in the figure on the left side and their initial temperature is equal to that of room temperature. Forming oil is used as a lubricant in this forging process. Therefore a corresponding friction formulation will be selected. A constant velocity condition will be used in the simulation because the material is rate independent. The upper die will move downward with a constant velocity of 1 mm per second and the lower die will remain stationary. The problem definition is complete. The objective of the simulation is to understand the joining process of three different work pieces on account of their plastic deformation. The simulation result looks similar to the picture shown here. So now, let's see how we can simulate this process using Avdex. Double click on Avdex icon to execute Avdex in your computer. Click on new to define a new process. In this process information window we will clearly define the process type. This is 3D cold forging process. So we will make the selections accordingly. Select cold forming. And 3D simulation. We select Newton as the unit of force. So the unit of stress will be megapascal. This will be a flow analysis which means only the mechanical effects of deformation of the workpiece will be considered in the simulation. Select rigid plastic deformation type. This means the elastic component of deformation is neglected in the simulation as it is insignificant. Since this process does not have any flash, select regular type under flash. Click OK. This is the main window of Avdex. We will use the toolbar to set up the simulation step by step. First step is to import the geometry. Click on model, from file and then select the geometry files in STL format. Click open. Note that you can get this geometry file inside your Avdex installation folder. Let's move on to the second step which is to define the material property. We will define that using constitutive equations. Click on material. Manual and then select cold material form, plus 3, from the drop down list in the material properties window. Enter the following values. Strength coefficient equals 300. Strain hardening exponent equals 0.20618. Minimum yield strain equals 0.01194. Click OK. To define the material property for another material, click on material, manual again. Select cold material form, plus 1, from the drop down list and enter the following properties. Minimum yield strength equals 100. Strain hardening exponent equals 0.1203. Strain reduction ratio equals 0.00257. Click OK. The third step is to define the press machine type. As you know, we will use a constant velocity condition. For using that, Click on Press, Manual, Enter minus 1 in the fifth column of the table. This means, making the press move downwards, in the negative Y direction, with a constant velocity of 1 mm per second. Click OK. The fourth step is to select the friction formulation. Click on Friction, from Library and then select Oil underscore Cold, Aluminium, click Load and then Close. Right click on stage 1, and click on insert and then click workpiece. Do this again. Similarly do the same for inserting one more upper die. Make sure that you have three workpieces and two upper dies and one lower die in total. The properties that were loaded so far will be assigned to the respective entities now. Select the geometry file ending with lower.stl drag it and drop it over lower die. Select the geometry file ending with upper1.stl drag it and drop it over upper die. 
Select the geometry file ending with upper 2.stl drag it and drop it over upper die 2. Select the geometry file ending with wp1.stl drag it and drop it over workpiece. Select the geometry file ending with wp2.stl drag it and drop it over workpiece 2. Select the geometry file ending with wp3.stl drag it and drop it over workpiece 3. Select the material model starting with the number 300, drag it and drop it over workpiece and workpiece 2. Select the material model starting with the number 100, drag it and drop it over workpiece 3. Select V equals 0, minus 1 comma 0, drag it and drop it over upper die. Right click on oil underscore cold, aluminium, and then select two upper and lower dies. This will assign the friction formulation to all the dies in the simulation. Now we have completed the definition and assignment of properties to the dies and the workpiece. It's time to define the planes of symmetry. Double click on SYMM underscore plane. This opens the define symmetry planes window. Now select the two planes of symmetry in the workpiece. After making sure that the two planes of symmetry are carefully selected, click OK. The next step is to position the dies properly. For this, we will use the positioner tool of FDEX. Double click on stage 1 and click on positioner icon on this toolbar. Click auto icon. This will enable automatic positioning of the dies. Click OK. The next step is to define the properties like stroke and number of solution steps. For stage 1 stroke definition, double click on forming 1. This will open the forming control window of stage 1. Select time from the drop down menu next to stop criterion and enter a value of 10. This is the stop criterion for the stage, meaning that, when the process time reaches a value of 10 seconds, the solver will automatically stop the simulation. After doing this, click on output divisions. We will increase the number of solution steps used in the simulation. Select user defined below number of solution steps. Enter a value of 200. We will also increase the number of elements used for meshing. To do that, click on volume slash mesh and then select user defined. Enter a value equals 100,000. Now click OK. We are almost done with the simulation setup process. We just have to save the simulation, check, and run it. Click on the save icon, enter a file name, and then click save. Your simulation file is now saved. The final step is to check the simulation to see if we have set it up correctly. Click on the tick mark button on the toolbar. In the window that opens, click check. This will let you know the error messages if there are any. The notice messages can be ignored at this step. After making sure that there are no error messages, click run. This area shows stage-wise and overall progress of the simulation. On the right side are the different state variables that can be visualized based on the simulation. You can explore more on this section to investigate the state variables of your interest. The media tools here allow you to visualize the deformation behavior of the process.